It's time for another installment of Flashpoint. This week, Julie Broughton sits down with Harbor House of Central Florida to talk about the upcoming Pause for Peace Walk. Good morning, I'm Julie Broughton. On Saturday, April 23rd, Harbor House of Central Florida is inviting you to lace up those walking shoes and bring along man's best friend and best walking buddy for the Pause for Peace Walk. New Six is a proud sponsor of the event. We're very excited this and about this and joining me today on Flashpoint, Tikoa Pori, Harbor House Development Director, Ted Maines, event chair and local philanthropist and a guest I'm really excited about making her TV debut. The Co-chair, this is Ted's miniature greyhound, Donatello. Welcome to Flashpoint, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And we're so happy to have you. And Donatella looks beautiful. She's a little bit fascinated by herself there on the monitor. <laughs> now, Tico, for viewers who are hearing about you guys for the first time, can you tell us about some of the services Harbor House offers? Absolutely. Harbor House is um, Orange County only certified domestic violence organization. And so most people know we offer shelter, temporary placement for women and men that are fleeing homes because of domestic violence. In addition to shelter, we also offer 24-hour crisis hotline that's available, of course, 24-7. Um, in addition to that, we also have counseling services, legal advocacy, and we provide justice for women, men, and children throughout Orange County that are fleeing homes because of domestic violence. Just last year, we um, sheltered 1,500 Oh, wow. Women, children, and men at our shelter. In addition to that, we also helped and impacted 15,000 throughout Central Florida through our outreach services. We have yeah. 13 locations um, throughout Central Florida that are strategically placed so that the 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 offer the the homes that mm -hmm. we have are always confidential. Yeah, those numbers always astound me every time yeah. we hear about them. And of course, we have a big event coming up, which is, we are a sponsor of the sixth annual Pause for Peace Walk. Now, this is more than just people heading out and taking a walk. What exactly happens at this event? So, Pause for Peace is our fun event yes. because it's time to bring out your pets, and Miss Donatella will all be joining love. us. Um, and we have pets from dogs. We even had a rabbit one year. We you had have, a rabbit come yeah, out? Yeah, someone okay. put a rabbit in a stroller. We also. <laughs> Um, some people bring out cats on a leash, and so it's just a time for not only the animal and the owner, but for the entire family. So this year we're going to have bounce houses, face okay. painting. The event is April 23rd at 9 a.m. at the Blue Jacket Park in Baldwin. Um, here and we're in looking at some video of it from last year. Yes, and look it was at all such the a dogs event. and the people coming out. We had, a lot of, we had a lot of people come out last year. A lot this of people is come always out a great last event. Year. And each year the numbers continue to grow, and we're looking for record numbers again this year. Um, all the money that's raised goes toward helping with our pet kennel that we offer on property and so the, the main purpose is a lot of times you have domestic violence survivors that want to leave their home but there's not a place that they right. can go with their pet and so Harbor House is very unique that you can come um, and receive shelter along with your animals because we have a pet kennel that houses animals um, from guinea pigs to dogs to to cats, it doesn't matter what the animal is, you can leave and be in a safe environment with your entire family, your child and your pet. All right, and Ted, of course, we've got Donatella we're starting to hear from. Now, she is chairing, co-chairing the event with you. Now, why is yes. this event so important to you, and what are you guys looking forward to most on that day? Well, you know, uh, pets are um, a part of our extended families. Yes, I think most of us feel that way about our, our cats and dogs. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they offer us great comfort in times of stress, and, mm -hmm. and, and we don't want anyone to feel that they have to be separated from and make that difficult decision to leave a pet behind, yeah. no more than you would leave a child behind. I mean, right. You know, you can replace material things, you know, the ones that you love you cannot replace. And you want to, and you want to keep families together. We want to keep the pets with, their, with the families. And this offers an alternative so that, you know, you know, people won't have to make that difficult decision and leave something that they love behind, someone they love behind. Mm -hmm. So it's a great opportunity and it's a great service that the Harbor House offers for, for its uh, victims that we shelter. All right. And you know, like you said, pets are our family. That's your baby, I can tell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, when we come back, we will talk more with folks from Harbor House of Central. Florida about the sixth annual Pause for Peace walk.